In lab four on page three, there was an exercise for you to do, which was going to allow you to display values from the Grove pot on the putty screen and actually have values from zero, zero to 33, having a uh, blue LED show up here as you crank this here and you get a number in this range here from 0.3 to 0.66. You should see the green LED come on. And if you crank it even more and you get up above 0.66, you should see the red LED come on. Now, that's basically what you had to do and have it coming up here. Now, what I've got is a little different display. All I've really done is I've multiplied the value for voltage by 100. And so I can have values instead of going from 0 to 0.99. I have it going up to 99. So that's the only thing that I've really done differently here. But let's take a look at what we've got here. This is your temperature sensor. This is your angle sensor pod. And these are the two that are being used in lab four. On future labs, we're gonna have the LCD, the passive infrared motion detector, the Blue Fruit UART friend, and the four digit display in future labs. And those can all work together, as you'll see at the end where we're doing a project, which is a burglar alarm system. For today, we're just gonna focus on this particular program here that's gonna be using our 10K pot. And as I said, as I turn this, you can see the values changing here to green on our lead and red on our lead here. And you can also see the values changing. So this is really trying to emulate a device that it has a working uh, temperature here that it's in its normal range from about 33 degrees to about 66 degrees. Anything bigger than that, it's in a danger of destroying itself. And anything lower than 33 degrees, it's just too cold to operate properly. One of the things that I've done here is I've done some formatting that you should have done in PRG1. Now you'll notice that even as I crank this down to zero, everything works in a nice format. And if I go up to higher numbers, we don't see extra digits kicking around. And that's because if you look at this, you can have as much as maybe 100 possibly coming out here. So the number of digits that we have is one, two, three for the dot, four, five, possibly six. So percent 6.2F is something you're gonna to need to actually format this up. As far as the colors here, you can use escape sequences. You can look at the ASCII chart that we did in the uh, class and you'll find that this is escape list square bracket 41 small m to make the red and then you can have a different color here for the word danger showing up here and you can position that. So this is more for people that want to sort of push their programming skills beyond what they're asked to do here to be able to come up with something that's going to give you something that's going to emulate a real world situation here.